This is FF8 Know The Facts Part 4. That's right, four parts. Who would have thought there would be so many awesome facts for one awesome game? This will be the last in the FF8 series. If you haven't seen the other ones, I'll put the links up at the end of the video. Alright, let's do this. There are loads of differences between the different versions of Final Fantasy VIII, but here's a few interesting changes from the Japanese version. Number one, we're all familiar with the timer at the fire cavern. After defeating Ifrit, the timer stops, but in the Japanese version, the player has to return to the entrance before the timer stops. Number two, if you miss a GF through the game, it's no big deal, as you can draw many of them from the monsters in Ultimecia's castle. However, in the Japanese version, you don't have this option. If you miss them, there's no second chances. Number three, in the English version, when you battle the Jare Jare on the train, his organs are blue. In the Japanese version, they are a much more realistic red colour. I guess a bit of blood was too over the top for some. I'm actually surprised that the blood in the opening FMV wasn't taken away, because again, in Ultimecia's castle, censorship strikes. In the Japanese version, the blood on the wall of the armory is red, but in the English version, it's green. Ever heard of the Dreamcast exclusive, Sagaga Gaga Lady Gaga Goo Goo Gaga? Well, it's actually just Saga Gaga, but the game is basically all about saving the company Saga from failure and guiding them to the top of the market. There are loads of references to other games here, FF8 included, but this time it's titled as Final Pharmacy 8. Yeah, there's also Mortal Wombat and Ace Wombat. Tetsuya Nomura had some troubles when designing Irvin and didn't have anything set until the last minute. At first, he made Irvin very handsome, a little too handsome. You see, Nomura didn't want Irvin to overshadow Squall, so he decided to make him relatively good looking instead. As shown in this early concept art, Irvin was originally designed with his hair braided and with goggles on his head, but these goggles were taken away to remove any similarities to Sid from Final Fantasy VII. Instead, he was given a cowboy hat. It's high noon. Gunblades are freaking awesome. This weapon was also designed by Nomura with the aim to make the battles more dynamic. By that I mean the timing of a button press on attacking. At the time, Nomura was into silver accessories, but upon thinking back, he stated that the gunblade has a rather odd appearance. Well, I think it looks awesome. What I wouldn't give to rock up to work with a gunblade in my hand. Well, actually, it's kind of possible. The team of blacksmiths on Man at Arms Reforged created a replica gunblade, and it looks amazing. So, 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 so cool. Here's a couple of facts about the PlayStation exclusive Legend of Mana. When starting up the game, if the system detects a FF8 save file, you'll start with a chocobo as a pet rather than the standard rabbit. Shiro Amano also did a manga adaptation of Legend of Mana, and in it, Quistus makes a few cameo appearances as the main character Toto's idol. Toto is obsessed with Quistus and collects everything he can relating to her and hopes to one day meet her in person. Well, if she was my teacher, I'd be obsessed too. Speaking of Quistus, did you notice that her menu portrait is the only one that faces to the right? Every other character's portrait faces to the left. If you played the original FF8 demo that was bundled with Brave Fencer Musashi, you may have noticed quite a few differences from the final product. Two of the most obvious changes include Renoa being the playable character instead of Selfie and Seifer, and a regular Seed Soldier firing at the robot instead of Quistus. There was also a track titled Raid on Dollar that never made it into the final game. It was replaced by the epic track The Landing, and it turns out the two are quite similar. This FMV that was present in the final game still has some remnants of the demo FMV. Firstly, in the shot where Zell and Selfie are running back to the seed vessel, Selfie is actually running with Renoa's shadow. You can clearly see Renoa's long dress flapping in the wind. The second remnant is through the vision of the XATM 092 robot. If you look carefully, you can see that Zell is back in his casual clothing, including his shorts, when he should be in his seed uniform. And guess who's standing next to him? Yep, that's Renoa, not Selfie. I reckon they were just cutting corners, hoping no one would notice. Let's rewind time a little to one of my favourite kids cartoons ever, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. What did you notice about this particular introduction? Look a little odd to you? That's right, good old Mikey doesn't ever show his nunchucks up close. 
This is the UK version, and apart from the ban on ninjas, hence the Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles, they also censored out nunchucks. Poor old Mikey was given a damn grappling hook! But how does this affect Final Fantasy? Well, in the NTSC version, Selfie's weapon is referred to as a nunchaku, but those like myself who own the PAL version may have noticed that it's referred to as a shinobu instead. Hey, at least it wasn't a freaking grappling hook! Let's talk a little more about Selfie. Nomura first designed her in overalls, but soon realised none of the other girls would be wearing a skirt. He wanted at least one female character to wear a skirt, so he gave Selfie a mini skirt slash overall hybrid instead. This short skirt actually has a direct impact on the mechanics of the game, or more specifically, the scan controls. Those who have tried to perv on Selfie will notice that she is the only character in the game that cannot be rotated in all directions. No upskirt for you, boys! And that's all for the Final Fantasy VIII Know The Facts series. Thanks for watching. What were your favourite and most surprising facts in the series? What Know The Facts do you want to see in the future? Let me know in the comments. See you next time.